Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We nearly forgot to record, but we just made it in time. We're heading off to Natrang, leaving De Lat. Let's see what happens. Welcome back to our biking series where we're biking from Ho Chi Minh in the south all the way to Hanoi in the north. We're eight days into our trip and we've barely scratched the surface of Vietnam's wonders. Pretty stunning. In this episode, we explore some of Natrang's highlights and Henna shares her tips <laughs> for how to look sexy in the shower. But first, let's get back to the road. It's going to be a coffee place. Every time I do this, I put one in. Half the time we turn up and there's one in there. I'm going to look for another one. This ride so far has been really, really nice. I've enjoyed it. Thoughts? Hello. I don't think I've said hello to the vlog yet today, but um, we've just had to stop for a wee break. And I think we're about halfway to Natrang, maybe. Oh, it's tough. It's very cold what up here. Think in that? It's it, really it's cold. It's freezing. It's like, I want to say it's like 13, 14 degrees. And when you're driving and the wind's like blasting in your face, it's freezing. Not only has this journey been cold and windy, we almost got our camera stolen by a lovely local man when we were trying to get some cool footage. They are. Not long after, we pulled into a cafe for some refreshments. What do we need? An hour. It's time to get the layers off. So we've come down from the hills. It was so cold up there, and now we've come down, it's boiling. I don't even want to have a fleece on. Um, but we just stopped off at a really local cafe or restaurant, and we got two packets of crisps, three cups of tea, and a bottle of coke for one pound. Anyway, after another hour of biking, we eventually made it to Natrang. Now this place is a cool and beautiful city on the beach. However, we were so knackered, we went straight for a nap. Well, good morning. Um, we made it to Natrang yesterday and had a bit of a chill night. But today we are actually going to the Vinpearl Amusement Park, which is on a different island to Natrang. So we're gonna have to get the boat across. You You can get a cable car, but it costs an extra like four or five hundred thousand. So we thought, nah. It was twenty five pounds per ticket anyway, so Yeah, the cable car's a bit expensive, but we actually don't know how much the boat is yet, so we're gonna go find out. I mean I know how much it costs because I booked the tickets and it's included in the ticket, so I'm pretty sure we don't have to pay anything. We've not even got into this place properly. I already love it. It's so cool. All of the buildings are just amazing. It's kind of like a Disneyland. Well, I've never been to Disneyland, but from what I can imagine it to look like, it looks like Disneyland. It's great. We are stuck in the kiddie section. I'm not really too sure where the other section is. I think we have to go like up into the mountains a little bit. Yeah, although you say it like it's a bad thing. Ken just went down the kid slide. <laughs> fun but don't recommend they got big friction burn okay we found a map that's the first thing to look at because we rushed so much we were so excited coming in that we missed where we could actually get a map from so oh. let's have a browse so henna how's your day going brilliant <laughs> anything uh, unique about today uh, not really i think it's just been a pretty good work day to be honest yeah Sure, sure. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Man, <laughs> so another cool thing that was included in our ticket price was ten pound of free food. So we went for the Burger King with a view. We just got to the King's Garden section, which is like the animal place, and we found some flamingos. Seems a bit cruel cool just having animals in here, but it's what it is. After giving the camels a leafy dinner, 
We quickly left the Animal Kingdom a bit disheartened by the cramped enclosures. But in search of a more uplifting experience, we made our way to the birdhouse. Which wasn't all that interesting. We're not bird people. So we've now come to the World Garden section. I think, just from looking through these little bubbles, um, it's like different types of flowers from around the world, so it could be very interesting. But before we go in the World Garden, we're pretty achy after riding the last few days, so we thought we'd get an eight minute massage. <laughs> I've been wanting to go on one of these for the last few months and Henna always says we're not allowed because they're not comfy. I'll be honest, we left their vibrant flower gardens and they were pretty cool, but they set off the good old hay fever, so we quickly exited and made our way through Cacti Land. Making a quick detour to retrieve the lost microphone dead cat. Not a very good vlogger because I don't know what it's called, but the thing that stops the wind going all over the place. Then we ventured into the tranquil Japanese gardens where Henna entertained us with her Harry Potter impressions. Night to E5. Please, please tell me you got that. Is it Harry Potter? Yes. If you didn't already know, Jake hasn't watched Harry Potter. He's been living under a rock. But now onto more fun activities. So Henna's been banging on about the zip line all day. Uh, we just went there and they're fully booked for the rest of the day, so we can't do that. Yeah, should have gone at the start of the day to get a slot, but we are now gonna do the um The coaster. second thing that Henna's been banging on about all day. <laughs> We've left the best two till last and can only do one, but one's better than nothing. Um, we're gonna do the like Alpine coaster all up around the hills. It looks really good. Just about to go on this crazy Alpine coaster and uh, he didn't say anything about the brakes or whatever so there is something to pull here hopefully it stops me or maybe I don't even need it we'll see how fast this goes I do have to say it's f***ing uncomfortable though the seat where your bum goes is like got a ridge in the middle so it's like right in my coccyx slow down Anna Anna you slow down this thing is crazy. Whoa. That was fun, I want to do it again. Oh, that was so hard though, because I had to film and try and hold the brakes. You had the, the brakes on? <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Anyway, if you come into Natrang, definitely come here. But we have had enough today. It's like, it's five o'clock. We've been here quite a while. Um, so we're gonna go home and then we'll see you guys tomorrow. I think we're gonna visit the mud bath and somewhere else, can't remember. Bye. Hello, so it's the next day. Um, I've just fallen over on the stairs, cracked my phone screen. Um, but we're actually at the mud baths today. So we're gonna go for um, a 20 minute mud bath and then a half hour mineral soak and then I think we can use all the facilities here. Not too sure about this one. It looks gross and <laughs> it's not that warm. I like it, it's quite fun. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> this is gonna make my accent flare up. Nah, uh, I'll be good for it. Oh no, no not my face, not my face. <laughs> I forgot to mention that just before we got in here, um, me and Hannah actually both had the shits. So, <laughs> if we're desperate, we might just, no one would know, would they? It's, it's really short. Look, look sexy. <laughs> that was fun once I got over the initial grossness of sitting in a mud bath. Yeah, I um, got it all with my teeth. Yeah. I don't know if it's psychological, but my skin feels a lot softer. I just got blasted by this machine. We got the nice mineral water jacuzzi up next. It seems like it's gonna be really warm. I feel like there's heat coming off of it, so that's nice, because I'm a bit cold. It's actually not as warm as I thought it was gonna be in Vietnam. It's still like 26 degrees, 
but compared to like barley temperature it's a bit chilly and in the mountains for a reason it's like 14 degrees and because you're on the bike the whole time and you've just got like a jacket on and you're in the wind it's just so cold you ready yeah as is often the case with these youtube videos henna was wrong <laughs> that was just the jacuzzi so now we're going to the hot mineral water the total cost for this place was 10 pound and 20 pence and something just went in my mouth <laughs> 10 pound and 21 pence for this place and it's really good so we had the mud bath we had a jacuzzi now we've got the mineral water bath um, we could have upgraded for about three or four pounds more to have some herbs and spices in here, but Henna said no. It just doesn't seem worth it when you see the picture. But next, we can literally just stay here for as long as we want, I think, and hang out in the swimming pool. Don't really know what else you can do, but it, it's definitely worth it. Henna's mouthing at me waterfalls. <laughs> um, it's definitely worth it. It's really cool. It's only 10 pounds and you can literally be here for hours. So definitely yes on our list of things to do. So that's the end of our Natrang video. Um, we really enjoyed the two main things we did. We put a cost breakdown here screen. so that you can see them. Uh, but it's been such a fun couple of days. Yeah, it's been so much fun. We are actually heading off to Da Nang next, um, but we're gonna make some stops along the way because we've got about six days to get up there. I mean, we should have been there tomorrow, but it's gonna take us about six days. Yeah, because we don't like driving very long, like for a long time, so. Yeah, we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.